This is your own factor in film book adaptations. Some are really good, and some are really bad. But in 2021, we got a good one. A remake of the film Dune from 1984 slash adaptation of the novel from 1965. But I thought the first Dune was really good. And it was greatly made. I really enjoyed it. And with ending on a cliffhanger, I knew there was going to be a second one. So I was pretty excited for Dune Part 2. And now having seen Dune Part 2, this is one of the best films I have ever seen. I'm not sure if this is just one of those movies that has struck in a chord with me or something. But this film is incredible. But this is going to be a difficult movie to review because, at least to me, there's nothing bad in or about Dune Part 2. This film is just made phenomenally. From the cinematography, the pacing, to the writing, to the acting, to the effects, to the characters. My god, literally everything in this film is just phenomenal. Ask me anything about this movie and that's my response. Phenomenal. But the thing is, is that this movie isn't going to be for everyone. And because it's the hours long, has a slow pace to it, it spends a lot of time on character development. And that's going to turn off a lot of general moviegoers. Some people might get bored with this movie, but for me at least, I loved it. And my favorite character is definitely Fade. Austin Butler's performance as this character is honestly kind of terrifying, and I love it. Honestly, all the characters in this movie are really nicely developed. Whether they be from the first movie or new characters. And that guy gives me a huge prop for really making a believable and natural relationship between Paul and Chani. It was set up in the first film, but they really dive into it with the second film. It's a big key component. It's not just like a little side story, it's like an important thing. This is some of the best action I've ever seen in a movie. From the worms, the final battle of this film, which, just saying, is one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen in a movie. This movie made me really realize why people go to the theater. When Paul Atreides is riding the worm, which isn't really a spoiler because it's in the trailers, the theater rumbled with this scene. And even though I have seen over 60 films in the theater, over the span of 11 years, even though I've experienced scenes just like this before, for some reason, this scene is like nothing I have ever experienced in the theater before, and may ever again. There were so many times during this video where I kept saying, that's the best scene, oh, no, never mind, that's the best scene, oh, no, that's the best scene. And also, I do think the final fight scene is the best scene in this movie. This movie is undoubtedly one of my new favorite movies. In fact, I'm gonna say it. This is the best film I've seen since War for the Planet of the Apes. Which, you guys probably know, in my opinion, is the best film ever made. Do I think it is phenomenal as War? No. But it comes close. Right now, if you ask me to give my opinion on why I think the three best films ever made are, I would go Dune Part 2, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes. Maybe that will change in the future, but right now, this is one of the best ones I've ever seen and ever made in my opinion. But now we're getting to spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, which I assure you, you don't want to, I'd click off the video. First of all, I just gotta ramble about the final fight scene between Paul and Fade. Which is one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen. I know I've said it so many times, but I really do mean it. Everything, from how it's choreographed, how it's shot, the fact that in a big action movie, the best action scene is a melee battle that takes place in just one area, the fact that there is no music, and the sound design, my god, it's actually amazing. Every slash, punch, you feel it, you feel it. The fact that this fight happens in front of a sunset, which is not only just beautiful, but it represents the bad of Fade with the shadows, and the good of Paul with the sunlight. But they're both shadowed, they both have sunlight, showing that neither side of this movie is really perfectly good. Although I do wish we really more thoroughly explained the family connection between Paul and his mom and the Arconans. But this one does kind of end on a cliffhanger, but still ends a way to where you could end it here, but there's definitely more of a story to tell. So that could be more fleshed out in a Doom Part 3, which, just saying, I would love that so, 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 so much. But let the guys blow, what did you guys think about Dune Part 2? Are you praising this movie like I am? Or are you thinking, it's just not for me? Bye guys for now. Bye bye, Scarlet Thacker.